Welcome to the online video homework to accompany topic 4.7 through 9, electrophilic aromatic substitution on benzene. Before attempting the problems in this homework, I recommend that you read lessons 4.7 through 4.9 in the Organic Chemistry 2 Primer 2018 by Professors Tennyson, Hujiri, and Smith. Our first question is to provide a reasonable arrow pushing mechanism for the reaction between benzene and the electrophile that is generated upon heating nitric and sulfuric acid together. We should recognize that the reaction of benzene with a combination of nitric and sulfuric acid are the conditions required for a nitration reaction. And the first thing we have to do to be able to consider an arrow pushing mechanism is to know what is the electrophile that is generated in the presence of nitric and sulfuric acid. Well, if we look in the primer, we see that the reaction of nitric acid with sulfuric acid leads to formation of a nitronium ion. And this will be the active electrophile that will participate in the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Next, we need to think about what the general electrophilic aromatic substitution mechanism is. And if we look in the primer, we find that the electrophile will initially undergo electrophilic addition to one of the pi bonds from the benzene ring. So the two electrons shown in red comprise the bond between the benzene and the electrophile. You generate this carbocation intermediate. The electrophilic elimination of a proton then leads to the net substitution of one of the protons for the electrophile. In this case, we are going to use the nitronium ion as the electrophile. So if we apply the general electrophilic aromatic substitution mechanism to using the nitronium electrophile, we'll have electrophilic addition of the nitronium and we get this intermediate that has the nitro group on it already. The electrophilic elimination of this proton then leads to the formation of nitrobenzene and the proton. Our next problem is to provide reasonable arrow pushing mechanisms for the three ways that a carbocation can be generated for use as an electrophile in Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction. Now there are three ways that we see in the primer in lesson 4.7 where the Friedel Crafts alkylation is first introduced. We think about these one at a time. The first is the electrophilic addition of a proton to an alkene. You should be able to draw this from some of the reactions in which this was a step in organic one. If we recall this, we have electrophilic addition of the proton to the pi bond, and that leads to the formation of the cation. And you want to form the tertiary cation in this case rather than the alternate structure, which would be electrophilic addition the proton to the tertiary carbon, that would be a primary carbocation. That is much less stable, and you want to have the tertiary cation form. Another way that is reviewed in the primer for producing a carbocation is the action of sulfuric or phosphoric acid on an alcohol. And we should know this step from organic one as well, where you could do substitution or elimination reactions on alcohols from carbocations. And in this case, if we take the example of sulfuric acid, the proton from the acid will first undergo coordination to the oxygen. That would be that proton there. And you get this oxonium intermediate. Heterolysis of that carbon-oxygen bond will lead to the formation of a carbocation. A new way to produce carbocations that we didn't talk about in Organic 1, that's not usually discussed in Organic 1 courses, is chloride abstraction from an alkyl chloride by aluminum trichloride. In this case, the fact that the aluminum in aluminum trichloride only has six valence electrons means that it has a pull for additional electrons to fulfill its octet. So this is a way for the chlorine-carbon bond to be broken, and that's another way to generate a carbocation that could subsequently act as the electrophile for a Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction. So now that we've taken a look at some of the ways that one can generate carbocations to be used in a Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction, we have this problem about providing a reasonable arrow pushing mechanism for the reaction between benzene and the electrophile that's generated by the action of aluminum trichloride and 1-chlorobutane. So here, if you take 1-chlorobutane, the chloride will be abstracted by the aluminum trichloride, and that leaves you with this primary carbocation. The primary carbocation is not very stable, so if you identify a more substituted site adjacent to it, you should expect a carbocation rearrangement to occur, and that will occur prior to any reaction between the electrophile and the benzene. So here we illustrate the 1,2 hydride shift, and that generates a secondary carbocation. Now we have the electrophile that we're able to use for an electrophilic aromatic substitution with the benzene. 
So, like any electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, you first have the electrophilic addition step. And when that happens, you do generate a chiral center here. So this would be racemic at this point. Then you have electrophilic elimination of this H. And that would come off here. And your final product is a racemic mixture, where you have a mixture of R and S isomers at that site. Our next problem is very similar to example 4.91 in your primer. In the primer, you were given these reactants and asked for these products. So here in this video homework, I'm asking you this question the other way around. If you know that you have benzene and you want to make, for example, the sulfonic acid or an alkylated benzene or brominated or acylated benzene, what reagents do I need to complete those transformations? So for these first four reactions, you should pause the video and see if you can deduce what reagents you would need. And then we have the opportunity to review the different reagents. Now, for the first one, sulfonation, you could use sulfuric acid with the sulfur trioxide. That's called fuming sulfuric acid. It also works if you just use sulfuric acid. So if you said either one of those, that would be OK. In the second case, you have an ethyl group you're trying to put on. And you could do that with an alcohol with an acid. Or alternatively, you could use aluminum trichloride with ethyl chloride. You could generate the carbocation needed by heating ethylene with sulfuric acid to facilitate this reaction as well. In the case of bromination, you could use iron or iron tribromide with bromine. And in the case of an acylation, you'll want to use aluminum trichloride with the appropriate acid chloride. We continue with this type of question for the four reactions shown on this slide, which asks you again to provide the missing reagents to carry out these transformations. So you should pause the video and see if you can deduce the necessary reagents. And here are some possibilities. For the chlorination, you could use iron and chlorine, or you could use ferric chloride with chlorine. For iodination, a convenient route would be to use iodine or sulfuric acid. And here we have an alkyl group we're putting on. You could use any of the ways to generate the carbocation necessary should look like this. And one of the routes is using aluminum trichloride with this isopropyl chloride. The last one is a nitration that's related to the first problem in this homework set. And you just need sulfuric acid with nitric acid to facilitate that transformation. 